Toronto crime victim advocate Kemi Omolalu is in her biggest fight. She's facing deportation from Canada back to Nigeria in the next coming weeks. She has to report for a detention review next month. And I'm settled, you know, I love working with people in the community. I'm a member of I'm a member of the music business in Toronto. I've helped a lot of young artists free of charge to get exposure to do work for them. And I have a teenage magazine that I just launched here. They're telling me to pack it all up. She fled here in 2007 with her children, claiming refugee status, status that was turned down. She's been through the system, has appealed the system. Now they said she's got to go. Cammy says she'll be killed if she's sent back there because of her political affiliations. Her dad was a famous politician there at some point, and he may have left some rivals behind. I don't want to go back because I've had a lot of threats against me by Nigerians, Nigerian politicians. These threats are very visible on social media and I'm not taking them, I'm not taking them lightly. When people write, I'm going to gun you again. As soon as you get off the plane, I'm going to kill you and your family. She's, you know, can't sleep at night and she's worrying what the next step is going to be. Oh, in her time in Canada, she said she's helped at least 17 families help grieve and help police find their killers of their young black men who were shot down. Of those, there's been arrested in about seven. For the Toronto Sun, I am Tom Guy Free.